you're heading to Belize, do check my Belize travel guide. It will give you a lot of information that's going to make that Belize trip perfect. The link is above and don't skip it. Did you know Belize is home to the second largest barrier reef in the world after Australia and the largest barrier reef in the entire northern hemisphere? So there's plenty of spots for beautiful, amazing adventure, whether you are a diver or you like snorkeling like me. One thing I would say is Belize is a little expensive. So if you are going for diving, make sure you are certified before you get here. It is already expensive and getting certified is quite an expensive thing as well. So I will take you from the south all the way to the north, the Keys, and I will tell you what to expect from different places. So there's tons of information in there. So I went to the south in Placencia and then further to Ambergris Key to the world famous Hol Chan Marine Reserve. And then at the end, I will show you the beautiful blue hole and what to expect there as well. So stay tuned, watch the entire video. Do let me know which ones of these spots was your favorite and which ones your favorite animals. I also did something in Belize that I'd never tried before, the night snorkel. And it was, it absolutely blew my mind and I really need to get myself certified so I can go diving next time. Because there were a few spots where diving was much better option than snorkeling. So let's continue with the video without waiting more time. Please, 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 please don't touch anything underwater or if you go to the zoo and don't try to touch any animals. It's just not a good idea. It's just a really, really bad idea. Not because of the animals, but also for you because you don't know what is dangerous down there. So the sharks can be pretty unpredictable. The stingrays can kill you and when it comes to corals, you could like have severe consequences. There are fire corals, a few different types. You could get up to second degree burns there. So be careful, don't touch anything underwater. Really important. And also you can't take anything with you, especially from the reserves. Shells, sand, anything you see there, you just leave it there apart from your garbage. You bring that back with you. Silky is a fairly small island, really small actually but it's really beautiful, especially all the reef and corals around. Unfortunately, it's because it's at the end of reserve, there's not a lot of protection for marine life and you only get to see a small amount of fish around. Most of the big stuff is gone. Ready for round two. Let's go. Are you ready for round three? Let's go. The third stop on the tour will take you to this place where you will get to see some nurse sharks as well as giant turtles and stingrays. These are fed by local people and it started as a natural thing but it's done for tourism now. The 
Marine Reserve of Kikolka is much younger than the whole Chan Marine Reserve. But there's still a lot you can see and explore here. It's a beautiful, beautiful reserve. You get to see a lot of different types of fish. And if you're lucky, you get to see some rays like eagle rays and giant stingrays. They have their own shark alley where you get to see some nurse sharks. And the best is you get to see some manatees. Who's ready for the Key Conquer Marine Resolve, hey? Let's go! If you want to see an octopus in its natural environment, you need to go for a night snorkel and Key Kalkar is perfect for that. I got to see giant crabs, two or three different octopi, as well as a lot of different creatures, which was absolutely incredible. The giant blue hole of Belize does not have any land mass. In fact, all the ring you see is corals and it is really beautiful to snorkel around in that. You get to see so many different types of fish and if you're lucky, you might get to see a shark as well. Ready my blue hole?
Half Moon Key is a really beautiful spot with a lot of incredibly gorgeous, clean, clear water with a lot of coral and a chance to see some fish. And you might get a chance to see an octopus as well. Long Key is more for diving and not really a great snorkeling spot. On the way back to Kikolkar, I also got to see some dolphins, which always makes your day much nicer. Saving the best for the last, it is Holchan Marine Reserve near Ambergris Key and San Pedro. It is an absolutely amazing spot where you get to see so much during snorkeling. And this is one spot where snorkeling is much better than diving. Some of the fish I got to see here is absolutely incredibly huge and they are really friendly and not really shy of humans either. You also get to see some beautiful turtles right when you land and if you're lucky you get to see a lot of rays like I did. I managed to see four different eagle rays which was absolutely incredible. It was a little family. Holtan Marine Reserve has its own shark ray alley and the moment you get there the boat starts feeding them so don't wait too long because as soon as the food is finished the sharks are gone. You also get to see some turtles as well as stingrays feeding off and there's a good selection of fish around as well.
This is Brown Boy Travels and I hope you really liked this video. If you did, please do like, subscribe and comment and let me know some amazing destinations in your country. I would love to come. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, you have an amazing day ahead. Mwah.